G'day, my name is Tom, this is the Tafflers YouTube channel. Welcome back to our Euro Truck Simulator 2 Let's Play episode 61. Last episode, we drove from Tampere to uh, St. Petersburg. And unfortunately, this is 61, and I'm starting at Turku. The reason why I have started at Turku and not St. Petersburg because I did a recording yesterday, and I forgot to change the game over to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, so I scrapped it, and rather than reverting to the previous save, I thought I'll just do a drive from here. So, um, yeah, so without further ado, we'll give the Peterbilt a cold start. Um, where it's done 29,590 kilometres. Today, today we're going to hit 30,000 K, so I'm going to leave the screen on the kilometres thing so we can watch that moment appear. So we're about 410 kilometres away from hitting 30,000 kilometres. So let's go ahead and do it. Get it. There we go. That's good. And as you can see, we have 176,000 euros, which means we're coming close. By the end of this episode, we will be, um, we will be upping our, we will be, um, purchasing the next upgrade to the garage, uh, back in Tamp here. And, yeah, so, we're just going to go grab a job from here. But yeah, it's like I'm not actually re-recording the whole video that I did yesterday. I'm just going to start from where I left off yesterday. Uh, we are going to go to freight market. I don't even know where we're going yet. Um, I haven't even checked. Uh, we're going to do two episodes of Eurotoxin related to today because we did two Turn of Salem episodes yesterday. So we're going to do one from here, Turku, to somewhere else. And then from that place to another place, if you know what I mean. And then we'll be back to our normal daily video routine. So today we are going to go from here in Finland to um, Östersund in Sweden. So we are going to north of Sweden. We are going to discover Sundfall, uh, that place, and Umea today. We've still got some places up north to discover as well for Sweden. So we're almost finished with Sweden. And we're earning 19,000 euros, which means we'll have some money in our pocket as well when we upgrade it to the next level of our garage and eventually we will upgrade eventually then after that next ending grade we'll buy a new truck and a new hire a new man hire a new um, driver Content, make sure you're hitting a like button down below. If you're stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. I'm making ETS2 content every single day as it's part of my Gaming Through the Decade series. Um, and if you are new to the Let's Play, this is my Pin 389 that I spent out from there. Spent out, it's um, the 1x5x2. It's a slightly great truck, it's my favourite truck of ETS, um, ETS and ATS. Um, in general, not just because I have it in the Let's Play, it's because of all the customization you can do with this truck. And I have damaged the truck a little bit. And like I say, you can get lots of chassis, different engine choices, there's different transmission choices, and lots of different accessories like a high wing spoiler and things like that, which I don't even have. Let's roll. We owe it to spoiler. our children yeah. to have you arrive safely. Right, let's go. Let's go do this drive. So yeah, like I said, I apologise there was no ETS content yesterday. I did a good video, but unfortunately didn't record properly. So let's get on the road and Turn see left. how we go. Hopefully we Like we did yesterday, we didn't damage the load at all, I don't, I don't know. So last time we were in um, Tokyo was episode 19. Oh, ta um, ta sorry. Euro Truck Simulator 2, I know, we're almost there. Um, but yeah, last time was episode, yeah, episode 19. So we haven't been here in, I don't know, over 40 episodes. 
which is crazy. In 0 0.1 miles, but turn right. We're going to go to that rest of the area in the fuel station. Turn right. Now I'm still coughing. I know it's not quite a virus, I've got asthma. Anyway, that's the that's the that's the that's the anyway, let's see how we go. I hope you guys are keeping up with that and anyway, are holding up out of that too because. I think this is a resting spot here. Is it? Yeah. Good. Let's rest up. Keep going. Okay. Dash hogs, we're definitely going to hit um, 200, about 30,000 kilometres in this truck. But I'll take a photo as soon as it does. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. Because last time I did that, I kind of missed In 0 0.1 miles, turn right. Turn right. Let's go to it now. In zero point one miles, turn left. Turn left. Keep right. And then turn right. Now, if you remember from the last episode, we are going to do some uh, Turn right. car spotting because we have this sports car pack. I think it's by Traffic Maniac. Um, it's in my description down below. Um, uh, if you want to download it, it's such a lot of money to pay for lots of money to pay. We're meant to wait for me, but anyway, it's not going to wait. In 0 0.1 miles, turn left. Turn left. Give way sign, so you're turning, so I'm going here. In 0 0.1 miles, turn right. Got a red light, so we turn. Turn right. No. So we have things like a Mazda, we have a Mercedes A200, that's all from the feet. That looks like a Toyota MR2. <coughs> it's a Mercedes, um, something, it's a GLK, I think it's called. I'm pretty sure, I don't think it's a GLK, no, it's GLS, I think that was, an old GLS. If it has a GLS. Continue so straight. I like those things. Okay, obviously this guy's waiting to turn, so it would want be here a while. Uh, but after that car pulling a caravan, you can go. Oh, it's red light again. Oh, I saw that tap. Oh, that ambulance is in the way now, so I can't see if there's any sports cars. There's a Mercedes X Class there. Someone's holding a bike, I think, or something. Wait for that. Oh, you're waiting too. Come on. Security must be on high alert today. I'm going to just slide because I'm turning left up there. Right, that would be great. That looks like a Miata. No, it's not. It's a. Yeah, no, what is that? That's an old item, let it be, guys. Sports car. Sports car back. Sports car back. 
keep left oh, and then I like those turn things. left. I prefer, I like what their favourite choice is 99 too. I really like it on the Turn left. Oh, uh, well, because actually I kind of like the back end of the left. Like, the interior technology is pretty insane. But I wouldn't, I don't know, I live myself, to be honest. Is they all the same car, aren't they? Freeway, so we might as well start talking the news. Um, if you're new to the Let's Play, we are doing we do a new segment whilst we're on the freeway because um, otherwise, if um, um, the video can get quite boring. So, first thing first, we're going to talk about some Sag Forty news now. Uh, when I was recording episode 61, I think I was talking about how he fixed the R that the R33 has had a bad starter. Well, he has fixed that since then. And well, and now the car is running and driving like a brand new R thirty three Skyline. And last night's video, he was um, messing around with, and his car video will be out now. On his today and tonight's video, he was um, um, fixing up the um, good old fashioned um, FT XR right that belongs to his roommate Max. And Max got some speeding five hundred eleven k kilometers per hour. Quite sad, but I mean, heck, if you live in South Australia, we could get it. We have high speed limits, so he would have been he would have gone away with it. He was doing 100 left, he turned 110 because it's only a kilometre over. But he could only go up to a five kilometre over. He got some speed in front. So poor Max, I mean. That happened, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was burned the last time thinking I was just talking to you now before he started getting supercharged. And it's funny, he's getting supercharged after two years, everyone was going, oh, where's the supercharging happening? Where's the supercharging happening? Well, it's happening now, so what they did was fix up the uh, water pump and all of that stuff and started, put, started to put the car back together. Uh, they're going to do the fuel lines, I believe that will be tonight's video, so fix up the fuel lines and then do the first start, which will be great to hear because. <laughs> I am. I've, I've been one of those people who have been waiting for Max this year to get supercharged. I've been hearing all about it last year since I was subscribed to Zach Morning and it's finally happening. I cannot wait. Even though it's a little. I mean, I don't think there's even much FGs that have been supercharged. Continue straight. Apart from the FG Mark II, so which has the supercharged 5 litre V8. Like the FG Mark I, so I think I've seen it in Boss 2. The Boss 290s, that's what they are. Uh, same as the FPV riders in the um, B series, um, in a way, while the um, Yeah, so that's exciting um, that the uh, supercharger is nearly done. We're up to 29667 now. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, next up, we're going to talk about Tyler Hoover has purchased the cheapest Porsche 911 in the USA. It's a 2911 convertible. Um, Manual Keep has right. done about 175,000 miles. Um, he bought it for six thousand dollars, like I said, and it's a beautiful 911. I mean, uh, me personally, I'd have. Police know, ahead. Security must be on high alert today. Uh, yeah, he yeah, he's had a beautiful yeah he has a beautiful uh, black 911 now. Uh, still a 996, of course, because I mean, he, I mean, he's had a 996 before. He's had two 996s before. A 996 um, Carrera, Continue a 3.6 straight. Carrera, or something like that, 3.2 Carrera actually. And then he actually got a... Police ahead. Security must be on high alert today. Um... Keep right. you're wondering. Um, yeah, so he bought that. Um, it, it runs and drives perfect apart from the struts being a bit loose. Apart from that, it's a great car. Like, I mean, all he has to do is fix the struts so and he's got a perfect 911. Because, as you know, his first 911 blew up, but then he LS swapped it and then he 
I mean, he liked it then, but like he put an Ellis 2 in it. No, Ellis 2 or Ellis 3, I don't remember, it was one of the two. And that was a good um, um, original idea, because I don't think anybody else had to do that. He called that 911 the Apollo 911. And after that, he bought the 911 Turbo, which did had a, um, which had to get an engine, um, the engine it and do an engine out thing after taking it on the track. And now he's got this 911 Cabriolet. So 300 kilometers to go until we hit 30,000, by the way. So, awesome. Um, it's a great, it's a great watch, so I suggest you check it out. Um, it's a black, yeah, like I said, black or black 911. He's going to change the wheels out because he doesn't like the black wheels for some reason. And yeah, what's next? What's next on this? Next up, we're going to talk about Street Speed 717. Um, we've just done two previous videos. First off, he off road the blazer, and I think he kind of killed it. Um, he kind of killed it in a way, but then he managed to make it out and make it to the uh, theme. I think he kind of he kind of killed it. Um, it's a to be continued video, so we'll find out more later. And also, in today's video, he has wrapped his 2016 Hellcat giveaway car. Um, he has wrapped it in sort of like a Tiger King inspired thing with a with like a Tiger style wrap, which is and it absolutely looks amazing. He in shape design, always killing with the wraps. Um, if you are in the Pennsylvania area and you want to wrap your car, um, hit up Shane. Um, obviously, they're not open at the moment. Oh, they are open, but you're not allowed to see the shop due to what's going on as well. And yeah, so that's awesome. Keep so, right, so and them. then continue straight. Uh, I think he was originally going got purple, but strap band purple. That's what he's been saying. Continue he's straight it because Tiger King's like the biggest hit of the um, century. I don't everyone's watching Tiger King, especially during quarantine. Apparently the guy's in jail, apparently that's what I've heard. And yeah. Oh yeah, because that's not the meme of the year this year. Apart from the um cough and dance thing, which I quite like, it's, it's hilarious. I don't know how that's a meme already, I'm not too sure why well, I don't know how that became a meme. And um, yes, that's street speed news. And, and um, who, I should know a bit more about Street Speed 717. He's looking to get a permanent manual transmission vehicle in the in the fleet again. Now, in the three choices he has is the C6ZR1. Now, the only problem I have with that, he has a C8 Corvette and a C7ZR1, which I know is better. If he got a C6ZR1, that's three Corvettes. Why on earth do you need three Corvettes? That's my question. Even though the C6ZR1 would be cool. He also said a Lamborghini Gallardo with the gated six-speed manual. I mean, that's a good choice. Or a Murcielago would be a great choice too, like an old Murcielago. And then he also suggested, which is what I think he should definitely go with, is a fifth-gen Dodge Viper with a six-speed manual, of course, because only Vipers only came in a manual. Um, yeah, which is the one I definitely think most people say he should go buy a Viper. He has been promising a Viper since he sold the 600 LT. In case you don't know, he had a 2019 McLaren 600 LT or 2020, I'm not too sure, in Napier Green. Um, he loved that car until it had two check engine lights, and then he said, no, that's it, it's, it's gone. It's not a lemon or anything like that, it's just how McLaren's are. And especially that he's waited 14 months for that car, and suddenly it's just, it's not worth 300 of them. The $360,000 which I do agree because it's essentially a 570S with a spoiler and a wing and a different located exhaust which any 570S I so probably don't but yeah I would like it except for the Rex the exhaust that he can't get a good scoop with a 570S apart from that it's just a 570S which my has already had it's too similar so he just got rid of it and he hasn't bought a McLaren since then, I don't think he will until he sell, sell someone sells their 765 LT and he'll buy that, I think. Because he loves his 720, even though he made it too fast and he got rid of it. Well, he got rid of it because it blew up. So yeah, that's that. So yeah, that's cool. So he's getting a new manual transmission vehicle uh, after the Hellcat goes. 
Um, and apparently it's going to be permanent. I'm not too really sure if that's going to be the case. Well, if it's going to be a Viper or a Guyana or something like that, I'd probably say it would be because, honestly, like, they don't spend that much money on cars for giveaways. Like, I mean, the Hellcat was $40,000, 40 grand, 44, 40 grand. And the last car was a Gladiator, that was about the same price. They don't they spend a lot of money on cars for the giveaways. They just spend the money on the mods to make the car unique, I guess you could say. So that's the speed news. Next up, we're going to talk about Speed 150's amazing video with his car history. Uh, he hired an editor for that video, I'll remove before a race. Um, he, I think he was called Mr. AMG or something like that. He has like lots of AMGs. And they did a video walking through all of the. Uh, he did a video walking through all of his cars that he's owned since his very first car to his SLS AMG that he just put and included the future of the average people with wheels. Um, it's a very nice video. I'm just hoping that light like, says green. B150 did an amazing video with Boop Crawl Race doing a video about all the cars that he's owned in the past. Starting with like his very first car, which is the Renault Clio 1.2. He also said that he had a Subaru Leone D. We just got paid by driver Razaka. He got paid 5,000 euros. Or she got 5,000 euros. So we'll be definitely having some money in our pocket because we are going to be upgrading our trailer. No, our our um, headquarters in Tampia, so we can buy another truck in the future. So good, we're up to 180,000 euros. That will be the end of this video. We'll be upgrading our um, garage. Um, so yeah, so yeah, he had like a super early only station wagon down in New Zealand as Continue well. Continue straight. He also had that like, all these uh, things uh, talk through all his supercars that he owned. Even though he had the BMW M5, which he didn't mention, I just realised he had an M5. Like a G90 M5 figures, fair G90s, I'm not too really sure. I'm not a huge BMW person, if I'm saying. So, okay, we're about 200 kilometers away. I'm watching the um, Probably gonna be hitting it on this motorway coming up, actually. Um, hitting the 130,000 kilometer mark of the Pinwheel 389. She's done a good job. She is my trusty, um, trusty, um, in 0 0.1 miles. Turn right. I trust his truck to um, to a point and it's very it's good, it can tow everything and turn right. Yeah. Such a great truck. When I had the let's play, it's gonna be very sad to let this truck go. Uh, but no, but some of you in the audience will be able to enjoy it, so I'm actually gonna be sharing this profile um, um, to when when I had the let's play. So then you can continue on with the pinball's heritage. And I might tell you to let me know how many kilometers has the pinball done with you. Keep in mind it has 840 horsepower. Um, so yeah, you've got to be careful. I was watching an old um, uh, I was watching an old um, AR12 gaming video and he, and he keeps saying I'm very full of crashes with a 760 horsepower max superliner. So yeah, so a uh, very interesting video from Speed 150. I hope you check it out. It's in the description below. We are at 108 kilometers to go. 450 already. What? Vasa. All right, we're in Vasa now. Keep left. Um, and pin. So yeah, turn that's me what 50 years of. Who else am I going to talk about that I watch? Turn left. So I've spoken about Tyler Hoover, spoken about Speed 150, spoken about Spring Speed 717, Zach Baldy. Who else do I watch? Oh, let's talk about all the auto rebuilds a little bit. He has purchased a 1992 Chevrolet Cavalier. 
Um, I haven't watched a video yet. I haven't caught up with most of his videos. I'm still watching the one when he bought the Honda Accord Coupe. Which is pretty much, pretty much a steal. As soon as we hit 30,000 kilometers, this is when we take the photo. Still at 2,800, 29,894. <laughs> so, not quite there yet. We'll probably be Keep hitting right. it as soon as we get in. And 10, turn right. Sweden. So we're heading to Sweden. But yeah, this is my trusted Peter right. Paul 389. I trust it. Like, I trust my trust. What, what, I'm trying to think like I trust my steering wheel in this game because it always works. But this tows everything. I mean, I won't have a problem towing any trailer. Um, it, will, it will just pull everything because that's why I brought this truck in this let's play rather than just keeping it in Mercedes because the Mercedes struggled a little bit, I should say. The Mercedes did struggle a little bit back in the day. If you're a, if you're a um, in 0 0.1 miles, you remember turn left. Mercedes LS1934. Um, yeah, that thing was a bit of a empty thing. So let's pull it. Turn left. Let's pull in the um, thing here. Alright, welcome to the dock. We are heading to Sweden. Unfortunately, we just crossed over 299. 29 point, 29 ships, 29,000. 25,900 kilometers, like we need to go in here. I'm following the track anyway. The arrows are backwards. I'm still, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm going to keep saying this, but when 137 comes out, we will be diverted to the 2013 Let's Play until Prime Mods has, has, has had an update for 137. So, it might be a while, I'm not too sure, because 136 is actually, the 137 open beta is out. Uh, that's why I'm not on it, because of the uh, because there's no one. Because there's no one. Cool. cool. Yeah, because there's no um, uh, pro mods for one point three seven. Um, the version I'm on is the last version that's going to be on one three six, which is the one I'm on. The latest version of one three six. And then when 137 comes out, that's when we're stopping ETS2. And then when the um, um, when the uh, Pro Mods gets updated, I'll probably get an email. I'll go ahead and download it and continue on from where we left off. Because I can't, I mean, I can go back to 136, but I don't really want to do that, to be honest. So we're going to Holmesund. Then we're going to go through Umia, down here. And then down here, and then down here. So we've got a bit of a drive still, but it's all good. Let's hit bark, and yeah, so that's to get rid of the case. Oh, yeah, let's do one more uh, news report, which is from Autovlog. Autovlog has actually, um, Autovlog has actually. Uh, broken his AMG once again. Well, he has the car broken, so and he thinks he got ripped off of the AMG. Which, I mean, I don't see the case of him being ripped off. It's just the car has the car of being Mercedes. It keeps breaking. In zero point one miles, turn right. So it's a bit sad that he, he thinks he got ripped, ripped off of his AMG. Turn right. I think it's probably it's, I think um, Yeah. Yeah, because he's um yeah, yeah buying a Yeah, so he's like has to go replace the brake lines for example. It was um, leaking the um, brake fluid. So the car isn't safe to drive. And yeah, so unfortunately the AMG is out of commission once again. But he hasn't got ripped off, it's just the car's just needs some work and fixing because it is 
good old cards. 2012. His last AMGs were pretty were pretty good, but especially the second one. The second one lasted him 20,000 miles, which is relatively good. At the roundabout, take the second exit for freedom. Oh, that was close. I stole the truck. Let me just check. Okay. No way to compete. I might as well go in it. Oops. Roundabout, take the third exit. The bad dog is on the two. Not the side. Where we go? Oh, where we go? We have sixty kilometers until we hit thirty thousand kilometers in the Peterbilt three eight nine. She's finally turning 30,000 kilometers old. Still not really breaking in as much. So we'll be hitting it in this definitely on this freeway. So we won't be on this freeway for quite a while. And this will be a good place to take a flight too. Okay, 50. So yeah. So um, yeah, so apparently the bet rep repair bill is gonna be forty three hundred dollars for a quarter flop. So poor bugger. He had to fork out more money for that car. He's only spent six grand in repairs of that car. Also ridiculous. Forty. <sighs> We're almost there. Police ahead. Security must be on high alert today. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, get ready. One. Thirty thousand kilometers on the dot. We have hit thirty thousand kilometers in the Peterbilt three eight nine. If I hover over here, um, it says it there thirty thousand kilometers in the three eight nine. I've had this truck since episode twenty three, I believe it was. I I said goodbye to the Mercedes and bought the Peterbilt. And I could have not been happier. We have hit 30,000 kilometers on the 389. And we've done it. Okay, awesome. I can put my fuel on top of it. We're 464 kilometers left in, the f left in the tank. So we need to go fill up somewhere. Eventually. So, really good. Congratulations, Peterbilt 389. You have turned 30,000 kilometers old. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, awesome. What are we following? That looks like a cool car. Oh. Oh, we've already discovered this town. I thought we already we haven't discovered this town, but we have. Apparently. Oh, we've been here then. <coughs> we've been up here.
At the roundabout, take the second exit for freedom. Right, let's go for here. Come on, Peter Bill. We still got lots of life left in here. You will be forever remembered uh, after the let's play. You will be forever remembered. She is my trusty steed. 30,000 kilometers of hauling. Heavy haul, light hauls, every haul uh, was with this truck. And I've been driving that every 30,000 kilometers. I haven't let it to an AI and I will never will. Because I think AIs will probably spend a lot of money on fuel in this truck, honestly. And um, yeah, maybe we could have went, but we didn't. <coughs> Unless that's how. Uh... Ah, oh, it's how. Um... Continue straight. Right, there we go, we're at leaving this town here, so we took the right. At the roundabout, take the first exit, President Wazer. There's an RX7, look at that. Oh, you going? So you're right in the middle of the freeway there, Mr. Opal Vetra. And yes, I don't know what that car is. We have those in Australia, so. But well, hopefully we'll move half the night here. I don't know if we've had really had much in there. And yes, that's the top here's most hated car, I think. They don't like the Vectra. Um, that's the old top here. But I don't think the new ones like the Vectra either. Come on, That's when Toggy was reviewing, like, say, like, minivans or whatnot, like, when they were reviewing everyday cars. Like, back in the early days, before they reviewed, like, say, a Lamborghini or something like that, way before that. Actually, no, they were reviewing Lamborghini, so they were, they, that was, like, the first episode when they did the Pagani versus Lamborghini. If you remember that, that, that show, goes to show how much of a fan of Toggy I am. Um, I remember watching that when I came, uh, well, I didn't watch it when I came out of it, when it came out of it. Police ahead. Security like, must be on high alert today. The studio was so empty, man. Like, honestly. So empty. The empty, empty is it as it has ever been. Then again, the new Tonky era isn't as popular as the old Tonky era anymore. Right, I'm surprised there's still any old Top Gear for after what happened. Yeah, the old Top Gear episodes are still on TV. Police ahead. Security must be on high alert today. My fake's not making noise and I don't even care about it. So yeah. Come on, just do talk about the traffic car thing for a bit. Uh, I do not talk just for that. So like I said, um, 8.30 p.m. will be the second um, ETS2 upload. Um, we have this one, of, um, obviously the time you watch this, and then at 8.30 p.m. the second ETS2 video will be coming out. And then I'll be recording Monday's one, and I might be recording Tuesday's one, so I might be recording tomorrow's one today for sure. But if I've got enough energy and enough time so I can get my video out, I'll be recording Tuesday's video if it's a very short drive. That is, I was going to go tomorrow. And I'll be Tuesday. But you never know. There's lots of YouTubers pre record stuff, especially if they're working, like, there's a senior from Junior City Gaming, which is still from Junior City Gaming, one of my favorite YouTube channels, Dan, essentially. Um, what did he do? He usually uploads videos now. Uh, no, oh, no, I'm PM. Big City called it quits. Big City was pretty much the uh, founding, uh, founding member of Junior City Gaming. Come on, truck. Don't let me down now when we're on the bridge.
what's been happening with me lately? I finished watching season three of uh, Friday Night Dinner, which is my current favourite show, because um, it's still on the air. Um, we're about to start season four. Um, what I've seen so far is season four. Police ahead. Security must be on high alert today. Series of four looks pretty funny. In terms of what the damn Martin does. Martin and um, Adam and Johnny. Not really so much to damn Jackie, but Jackie. I mean, Jackie can get funny sometimes. But Continue straight. Less than 200 cash to go, that will fly through so much quicker. Um, fly so much quickly. If I can even speak. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even have to rest, uh, we just kept, kept, to keep driving pretty much. I think my character rest is going to be blown, I believe. I can go in, you can. I've slept with one before, and I don't have comfortable. It's really comfortable, so. Keep right, and then exit right. Must have. Don't be coming. Exit right. Turn right. Continue straight. So now we're driving through a tower, so we have to do 50. And we're doing, we've got 300 kilometers on the, on the tank, so we've got plenty of down fuel. I can get stuck here. And we also have done 46.8 litres per 100 kilometers, which is not too bad. Please don't the red light never. Uh, making 
40 horsepower, just over 4,000 newton meters on torque, which is absolutely crazy. It's basically for a truck like this. Continue this. straight. And it's more than you need, more than you need, and you know, the thing just likes to spin. Yeah, the thing just likes to spin. And basically starting off with first. After speed. roundabout, yeah, there take the second exit. You start for driving normally, and it'll, it'll start speeding. Start, start. Uh, it'll start spinning. I kind of like the clutch slips on my but it doesn't slip the clutch on There's no physics like that in ETF stuff. Um, so overall, I'll give you a hit today. 4 out of 5. Or, or if you want to know, I'll put that as an answer. That's Police ahead. Answer. Security must be on high alert today. <laughs> Running out of fuel, apparently, so we are going to go to the fuel station. So Keep right. Straight into a fighter fuel station, so we can fill up. So we can get into fuel. Line. Yeah, yeah. So since our uh, phone, we've driven 190 kilometres, so that's good. So we're out to 3192 actually, for so actually 192 kilometres. So now we need to go find a fuel station. Because our fuel lights on. I usually, this is how I would fill up my car, I'll wait till the fuel lights on probably, or get close to empty. Uh, whilst my parents usually fill up at the corner of the table, I will wait till my car's close to empty because my car will have a big fuel tank and a really good fuel economy. Yes, I know, I'm running out of fuel. So yeah, I'll go and find some, go and find a fuel station before we get there. I will make it there and I think I'll take a fuel, but I'm just going to fill up anyway so that I can get ready for the next trip. And uploading today, too. So, yeah, well, um, interesting. And I won't be talking about any news of the next episode because I can't think of anything else to talk about. <coughs> Which, if you are the new officer, you can tune into this video. Yeah, I'll probably just Police ahead. Security must be on high alert today. Must be. Oops, speeding offense. Where is this fuel station? Make a U-turn. Let's keep our enemies guessing. No, I can just stop here. Right, let's fill up. It's Euro 51 to fill up here, so let's see how expensive this is going to be. Obviously, I can still afford to upgrade the um, truck, or upgrade the um, garage. So, we'll be all good. So we pass the, get we pass that, we pass the 1190 that's going to cost, let me just put that in the fee. So we've got 
got a chain, so I'm ready. I've just got to kind of click the reset button. That will do it. So that was 1190 yeah, euros. There we go. So that's the first fuel up after 30,000 kilometers. We spent a bit of fuel. We've done lots of fuel stops. I have to count how many we've got. I could do that with like Excel or something like that. <coughs> okay, let's see how we go. That reset the fee. 30,253. Let's go. Let's get out of here. did well like it always does and it always will do keep very right. well. Keep right. We'll right here apparently. Oh, that's not keeping right. That's keeping right here. 17. It's a bit of it. Right, let's go. 49 kilometers to go. That is not far away. Peterbilt did very well, did very well on fuel, as it always does. And yeah, we've made it. <laughs> Pretty much. The Peterbilt 389 has been a great truck. I will miss it, like I said, constantly when I move on to Opsy 2, when I do that learn to play, because there's not really a bus with this much power in Opsy 2, trust me. Uh, because that is the next Let's Play, just in case you don't know. After we finish the 2012 Let's Play of ECS 2, we'll be moving on to um, Opsy 2. I kind of gave that away when we did the Opsy 2 Digibus Phantom video. Um, At the roundabout, take the first exit, President Wazer. Yes. Welcome to our destination town, we have made it. Uh, we'll be leaving Ostersund to um, they'll be leaving Ostersund um, in a couple of hours in terms of video times. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll just go uh, shift one, there we go. So we can get to better fuel economy. We're down to 28 litres now. And we're taking this exit and we have made it to DSV, so we have made it. I hope you have enjoyed this trip. Uh, I hope you felt comfortable along the way. Um, enjoy the sounds, the brilliant sounds of the Peterbilt 389. Keep because right. We have made it. So we need to slot, slide down here. And um, yeah. Because I've noticed like AR12 Gaming Nick has been um, getting back into ETS2 as well. Which is good to see. He's been doing lots of multiplayer stuff. He, yeah, he's been playing with other gear. In 0 0.1 miles, turn right. Turn right. Right, we've made it to our destination. We have. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. Right, uh, looks like we're going in here. Is this where we're going? Oh, get through, get through. Trial damage 2%. We've made it through. We're good. Yeah, we're just going to that. Alright, 
Alright, we have made it to our destination. We are leaving tra trailer here. Uh, well, we're not. We're just going to skip the parking. Because I have to, otherwise I have to do lots of correcting points. <coughs> but yeah, we have made it. 741 kilometers that was. Uh, so we've got an, added an extra 740 kilometers to our trip. We've made it 30,000 kilometers. So we've got an extra 19 grand. So before we go, we have to upgrade our trailer. I mean, our garage, I can call it a trailer, truck, and feeds, anything like that. We have 200,000 euros to our name, which is fantastic. And that's all earned legitly. I had to take out one loan when I was like negative 30,000 euros. Anyway, so our next job, which will be at 8.30 p.m., the video will be coming out. We are going back to... We're heading to Norway, I think. Yeah, we, we've already been to um, Finland um, in the recent videos, so... Let's go back to Norway. So we're going to go... Actually, no, we'll actually now stop it. We'll go back to Finland. Because we haven't been to Cork Island yet. So well, I think we've been to Oslo. I have to check. Have I been to Oslo? Let's find out. If I, have, if I haven't discovered Oslo, I'll go and do the Oslo job. That's completely... No, I haven't. So let's do Oslo. Because... I mean, we haven't discovered... Even though we haven't discovered that, I think we'll do the Oslo drive. We'll go for a Trondheim and anything like that. Which we haven't been to Trondheim in a while, too. Anyway, so before we go, we are going to upgrade our garage, and we still have some spending money left. We'll have that 10 grand. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to Garage Manager. We are going to go to Tab here. And we are going to click the upgrade button. Oh, it's only 100,000, so we actually can buy our next truck. Let's... So we're going to two extra spots. We have upgraded our truck, our trailer, our truck, our got driver's garage. So I think we're actually going to get teleported back there. Which means we are going to probably start in Tampa in the next episode. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, we have actually upgraded our thing to the next level. So it was only uh, so it's not as much as I thought. Which is good. So I've got 90,000 euros to buy, ne buy our next truck. So the next truck, I don't know what it's going to be yet. So I haven't flicked through all my mods. I have about 50 something trucks to choose from. Um, then none of them are going to be the stock standard um, SES trucks, to be honest. So yeah, let's just see what we got. Here we go, here we go. So it's easy, we've got five bays there. We obviously have the Scania, the... We already have a Scania, we already have a Mercedes, and we already have a Peterbilt. We'll have a look around on the uh, mod list and see what we got. Oh, no. I've also, I uh, did the, uh, wait, I've also got a bit of rib, yeah. So I'll try not to uh, get a stock standard ETS2 truck. There we go. There's our garage. Fantastic, so we have upgraded that, so now we're going to go ahead and go ahead and buy our new truck. So let's go to the truck dealer, and let's go and buy our next truck. So first of all, how many miles has some of our trucks done? How many kilometers, I should say? So apparently our truck has done 29,000, even though it's done 30,000. Uh, so that hasn't been updated yet. The, Peter, the Mercedes is up to 12,000 kilometers, so that's catching up rapidly. And the Mercedes is up to 5,179 kilometers. And they're on duty. The rating for Rosalka is coming up, so she's doing really well. She's on duty while I'm. Mud back, back at Tampere. Maybe I oh am. Yeah, maybe that's what that means. I'm back at Tampere. Let's find out. Am I back at Tampere or am I still at um, Sweden? Because I just went and upgraded it. If I'm back at Tampere, we'll start at Tampere next episode and see where we go. I believe I would be because I've... yeah. Let's wait for the world map to load. No, I'm still at the same place, that's right. Right, let's go buy a new truck and then we'll end the video from there. So let's go to Truck Dealers. Let's buy our fourth truck for the Let's Play episode and that will be linked in the description below. I just have to go and find it. Find out which one I'm going to get. Let's see if the game crashes, otherwise I don't think it will. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Don't we? Right, we're gonna go ahead and access the mod dealer by clicking that button down there. And we'll have a flick through. All right, we can actually let's do a. Oh, I can't afford it. Let's see if I can make it cheaper. Let's try and see if we can see if we can do a Mac. <laughs> oh God, two sixty horsepower. I could make it cheaper, but that's only got... That doesn't make it that much cheaper. 
Yeah, no, nah, we can't afford it just yet. I would love to have that truck, but that's a cool truck. So unfortunately, we're not going to get that truck. We've got to just have a fleet front. Of course, the truck has to be celestial blue or close to it, because that's our color. So let's see, we could do a Volvo F series glow, glow uh, F series, yeah, Volvo F series. We might try that truck out, or we could do an Iveco 190 Dallas car. So we might do a Volvo. We could do a Mercedes. Uh, 1519 1934, that, that's the LS 1934, that's a different truck. DAF, we could do a DAF F241, Iveco, 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 we could do things like we, we could do a second 389 if we wanted to, but we're not going to. Uh, Scania, we could do the Sisu, or we could do the fucking one series, we could do. We could even do a Scanny 143M, this is standard spec. If we want to do Mad TGX, we could do maybe. Oh, we've still got a lot more. Let's see what we've got in back. We could do the R600, but we're not going to do the R600. Um, FLB, Peterbilt. There's our truck again. We could even do that truck. There's lots of things to choose from. That's a hard thing. What do we, what do we want? How much is the FC F Max though? I look out for that. I kinda wanna do I think we're gonna go for the K100E. Yeah, let's do spec out a standard K K one hundred E. That might be a good truck to add. And if this has more horsepower than the Peterbilt, then we will be giving up the Peterbilt today to have this cab over. But if because the K one hundred is a cab over, as you can see, so we got Right, let's see what we can do with it. Our budget's obviously 98,000, so we can probably see we can do an Aero 9 VIT. So we can do a chassis, which we might do a Prime Mover chassis. Okay, 83,000. Okay, engines, um, it's not as powerful as the Peterbilt, so we might as well stick with the Peterbilt. 90,000, transmission. Of course, we need the best 18 speed we can get, which I believe is a 285. What does better with heavy cargo this one so like to 92 so we only got 6,000 euros to spend on accessories we're gonna do it let's do a teal interior I haven't I haven't even drove, driven this truck before it looks beautiful and let's see if we can get celestial blue otherwise we can stick with that cyan <coughs> no we'll stick with the cyan right accessories we have 6,000 um, euros of accessories to spend so that starts bracing it up we're gonna do Obviously a bull bar. Put some spotlights in it. <coughs> Might do a kill with mud flaps at the front there. Uh, what we do? A couple of them. Why is that acting up weird? That's weird. Oh, I see some of from not from this. Well, accessories don't work, guys. If you want to download the K100E, accessories don't work as well. Right, we're going to do... We can change the grill, so let's put a waterfront grill thing on it. And we might do a 7 bar grill. I don't want to spend too much money. I've got 3,000 euros already. I'm going to keep the land the same. I don't want to spend too much money on stuff, so that's why it's going to be careful. We're going to do double radiant bacons. And we might do markers. 96.645. We're getting close to expensive territory. We might do the double dome. Horns. That kind of suits the truck really well. We're obviously going to do a navigation unit. I believe yet we're over, we're over budget, so we're not going to do that. We might as well leave it like that, I guess. So we can do inside here, we can do plates. Wheel, we might just do a classic white wheel, so whoever drives this truck. What else we can do? We can change the wood grade, so we can do... I like this type of wood grade, type of wood. Here we can do cabin accessories, I can put that on if I wanted to. 
but I'm not going to because that's going to cost me a whole bunch of money. But I've never put a bag down, therefore, actually let's not because it's not working. Actually, none of that's working, I don't know why it's not working. Oh well, we'll stick with that then. Oh, there's nothing at the top here. Window covers, we'll put them on. There we go, 97395, this is our new truck for the fleet, the Kenworth K100E. And that's where we're going to end it off, we're going to purchase this truck, we're going to hire a driver, and then we will be all good. So, K100E Aerodyne VIT. That's our new truck. That will be an awesome truck for somebody. So here we go, let's put that in the, our headquarters. That's truck number four. The next purchase will be our truck number five. There we go, another 800 euros. So let's go hire a driver. And the best we can do is we can hire this guy here, Lucas P. He's asking 366 euros per delivery plus 10 euros 50 per kilometer. Well, this is different. But this doesn't have as much skill as this guy, so I'm going to go for this guy. Hi, driver. And he'll talk to me. Oh, what? <coughs> oh, we need 1500 euros for dri each driver you hire. Alright. We'll be hiring a driver next episode, so right now we're going to end this video here, so I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you have, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you're stopping by for the first time, please subscribe. Final kilometer count for today, 30,331. Thank you very much for watching, take care, have a good one, bye-bye.